What is something about yourself that sounds totally made up but is 100% real? I'm one of very few people outside WW1 to live through mustard gas. So rare the doctors, 1995 no internet, had no idea how to treat me. How, THKS4 dad award. Pure, child. Stupidity. I grew up in a sparsely populated high Sierra community with lots of empty vacation homes. One of these homes was under construction about a block. There were no blocks in reality just long windy roads cutting through the forest, and the construction crew would just leave the half finished house open between shifts because no one lives here anyway. Ick me. A retard. Me and a friend decided to stumble into the home, and duck around with rando stuff. I saw a large vat used for mixing liquids, and poured an entire bucket of industrial cleaning liquid into it. I went and got another large bucket full of chemicals, dot mix rando industrial chemicals children, and dumped that in there too. Huge yellow gas explosion in my face. I got about 15 feet away, before collapsing and beginning to retch yellow goo and vomit everywhere, no breathing now. Just gasping and vomiting goop. My friend ran to get my mom. She called ambulance. They put me in a helicopter, and sent me to Art Davis Medical Center. My doctor eventually made contact with someone who knew how to treat my case through the internet. I had never heard of it. Two weeks in the IQ. Almost died. And my lungs are still ducking trash. I'm 34 now. Jesus Christ kids are ducking stupid. Right. Modern medicine saved me from Mr. Darwin. I got ran over by a car. But the driver didn't see me, and proceeded to back over me. Did you get any major injuries? Luckily they didn't get my torso. But they crushed my legs. This was about when I was 13 to 14. About 4 to 5 years ago. So my legs healed, and I'm walking again. Good to hear you're that you've recovered. My grandfather went a while on the French Foreign Legion, and was banned from ever going back to France. All because he left to marry my grandmother. One of my dad's friends was in the RAF, but he got bored of it, and went to wall, and joined the French Foreign Legion. However he got bored of that too, so he went to wall and went back to the RAF, and took his punishment. However, this is not where the story ends. Later he and his platoon, including my dad, were going on a skiing training camp in Italy. However the route took them through France. This is the bit, where he informs his platoon leader. That they need to do a detour around France, because he would be a trusted upon entering France. Safe to say his friends were not impressed. There's always that one guy. Yep. I've been in three fatal train accidents. Never had a scratch. Found the star of Unbreakable. And he is. Unstoppable. Spoiler for glass, until he runs into a puddle. And then he turns into a ghost. Shocking twist. Yeah really Bruce Willis. Such a great Charlie line. Always sunny is genius. Closed bracket. I ran out of gas outside of La Paz Bolivia. Luckily it was downhill for about 6 kilometers into the city. I coasted the whole way on my motorbike. Passed buses and drifted into a gas station. Never missed a beat. Sounds like you saved a liter of fuel to me. Not that much. Only a few hundred mls to be honest. Most bikes can get 20 miles a liter or more. I bet they get more than that coasting downhill. My calculations suggest miles per liter. I cannot taste any salt whatsoever. What do you taste if you put a bit of salt in your mouth? Nothing will feel it there, but that a bit. That's pretty wild. It sucks BC I think tis, because of a head injury BC before that happened I could taste it just fine. I got hernia by sneezing too hard. I got mine trying to match my wife's pregnant belly. Pop. I feel sorry for laughing. What a way to get it. You're telling me. I've done so much stupid shit in my life. And that's what earns me a doctor visit? My girlfriend is skinny as hell and always calls herself fat. So I like to stick my stomach out as far as I can. I'm muscular with zero gut. And I always have to push really hard. I'm never doing that again after reading this. It's the pop that got me. Arrested and spent 3 days in a holding cell for a crime that I didn't commit about a year after the whole matter was done and dusted with. Mind you, I say didn't commit the crime. But I was involved in the story from start to finish. What was the crime you were accused of? 
spent a really cool day in London with Christian Slater and his mum. His mum is adorable. Christian Slater is adorable as well. My parents decided not to go out to the pub one night when we lived in the Isle of Man. When they went there the next night all anyone was talking about was how awesome it was that Christian Slater was there the night before. A pelican engulfed my head with its massive ducking beak when I was a small child. Pelicans are cunts. Pelicans. I won two TV game shows. The $10. 000 pyramid. One $10. 300 in 1975 and sale of the century was on the show for nine days one dollar sign 34k in cash and prizes in 85 nice i've never won anything in my life now you have oh what that's so duck and sweet when i was a kid i woke up to find my cat giving birth to her kittens on my pillow one inch from my face i took it as a compliment it totally is that's like the cat congressional medal of honor. Right, if a cat closes its eyes around you it means it trusts you. But if it duck in births kittens inches from your face you must be like family. At age 50 odd, and with limited to no video game experience, my mother completed Mario 64 before I did. In about half the time it finally took me to do it. Jit gut. Sweetie. Kisses forehead. Drags an actual tea bag across your face. Isn't this what the kids these days do? Darling, now I have to bang your mom walks out with cucumber. I was born 12 weeks early and was nearly born earlier. My mom had a weak uterus from endo, so they had to push me back and stitch her up. The doctors told my parents to expect me to be unable to breathe, walk, etc. on my own. The doctor performing the c-section nearly dropped in surprise and how hard I was screaming and flailing. I do have a few health problems, but it could have been much worse. Editing since others are mentioning their experiences and health issues, I had hydrocephalus. It was treated poorly, the doctor thought I was fine, and my parents were overreacting when I was seizing and turning colors. It was treated, and now had 6 feet of tubing in the form of a shunt. As well as seizures I'll never outgrow. They are treated with medication. Otherwise. Outside asthma and other smaller things. I live a normal life. I graduated high school a few years ago. And hope to be married soon. I just imagine that baby screams translate to put me back duckers. You did it once. You can do it again. Apostrophe. I lost my heel in a lawnmower accidented it. Here's a store I was for at the time. And I won't say who exactly did it, but he was mowing, and it was a riding mower and the hitch on the back where you can hook a little trailer. I loved to stand on that part and ride. Well this time I saw a frog in the grass, and being the 4 year old I was at the time, I jumped off the mower, and onto the grass, and put my hands over the frog to catch it, and he didn't realize I had jumped off, and he backed up. JFC that sounds very unpleasant. What happened exactly? No offense but I think he just turned your username. LOL. My great great grandfather was a Pinkerton detective. Acted on vaudeville. And had 5 wives in 2 different states that knew nothing of each other. He also slightly changed his last name each time. And never got caught until ancestry website happened LOL. Sounds a bit like my great grandfather. He had a wife in France. And then to India in neighboring counties. He was caught though. My great grandmother was wife hash 2. She found out about wife hash 3 and divorced him. No one knew about the first wife in France until I pulled his service records from WWI. Please tell me how to pull service records from WWI. I would love to see what my grandfather was up to back then. Shire. I did this research in 2008. I believe I had to write to the National Personnel Records Center a few times. First request was under his final name. I had to provide information about the bloodline, etc. A month or two later I got a letter saying there were no records for that name for that time period. Some more research in church slash local records indicated he had legally changed his name in the 30s to get rid of the stigma of a German name. So I had to submit a second request under his birth name. Head lied about his age to enlist, which made it a little more difficult as well. He was just shy of 15 when he enlisted and 16 when his plane was shot down in France. When his records picked back up, 
It indicated he was married and listed a local church. Unfortunately I don't speak French so that's where the rabbit trail ended. I never knew this existed. Thank you so much for the reply. You have made my day so much brighter. I can also probably get info on my dad from where I. My grandpa left his royal status to marry my grandma. Who's your grandpa? Prince Harry. He's from the future. Harry. You're a prince. I'm not a Prince Hagrid. I'm just Harry. Hey. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.